clouds only made sort of an appearance in the in the original proof of concept. I can remember that the first design had a kind of cartoon approach yeah. with a big nose. You told me, well, Tor, let's, no, let's go away from that. I also felt too Viking. So we're in Scandinavia. There can be some of that Viking influence, but it yeah. shouldn't be too much. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of good work in terms of technical. There were a lot of great shapes yeah, yeah. there. Yeah, yeah. But I found that it was a very totally monochromatic character. At one point you told me, well, let's let's just focus on the face because you were really looking for a guy that had a history behind him. We wanted these bushy eyebrows and these, you know, glacier eyes right. for the beginning, but those same eyes needed to show Open up. pain. Just a broad range of emotions mm. that we wanted to. It took a while to really finish. When I read the script, I found him really interesting because he stood out from the rest of the cast in the film, I thought. He's such a subtle and serious character, so there's not a whole lot of emo like emotion there is, but it's all hidden and it's really downplayed and it's uh, that's that's tricky to convey emotions through that you know victor took a lot of convincing victor ends but he eventually agreed to come to madrid mm -hmm. and lead klaus he was having a hard time you know finding the mm. the feel and look of it but then one day i asked him to like i need to see a performance test where mm. you show me who klaus is because i've seen a lot of physical tests mm. I, like i know how he moves but I, I'm not connecting with the character emotionally. Mm. Uh, he took a couple shots that were meant to be a test, but we ended up putting in the, the movie, uh, film yeah. in the end because the performer was just yeah, great. Yeah, and then all of a sudden he just jumped out of the screen. Mm. And I you know, said to Victor, you got it, this is it. And he kind of like, <laughs> <laughs> you know, because he was, yeah. How do you get a guy to act if that's the last thing he wants to do? So it's up to Jesper to, to get him out of his comfort zone and like, do something with him. Hmm. Hello, Mr. Klaus, I take it? You remember me from the night? Completely opposite characters that have to work together to make Christmas happen. <laughs> Jasper trying to manipulate Klaus. Klaus, he's just like, he just wanna, wants to be left alone. The main relationship is the, in the film is the two of them. They need to be completely out of alignment in mm -hmm. the beginning. Mm -hmm. yeah. It is having the structure of a buddy cop film. Yep. You're pairing out two people who hate each other and you're going, you're partners now, go out to the cop Zip car and yep. patrol the streets. Okay, you win. What do you want? Money? My dad's got plenty of it. You can write him a ransom note. We have so many upshots and he's just not made for that. You know, it's like, oh, I'm going to draw this because so many shots were just looking up at him and uh, the best he, he works like from a three quarter view, something like that. You have to basically reinvent the model. <laughs> One big issue was the beard always, like how is the beard supposed to look? How can we simplify the beard, but yet make it look messy? Still control it without having a tons, a ton of uh, line mileage, you know, to, to animate this. He's a rock, you know, he's a block there. He's not moving much. In the beginning, it's really intimidating. So we had to... Hello. Be, hello. <laughs> but then throughout the movie, he develops as well. You feel secure you know, when he's around. I'd love to, of course, but look, too bad about the fence. Rats. Oh well. What are you gonna do? Are you, what's happening right now? It was so crucial that the animator made it so Klaus came over because, oh, is that your problem? Mm -hmm. Let me help you with that. <laughs> so <laughs> it, it couldn't feel like, like an aggressive gesture. And I really think the animator pulled it off. Right. I wear them down and you catch them. Good to whoa, whoa! Whoa! Here we go! That is working. That is working. Now we're moving. Mm -hmm. Or now we're talking. Now or we're talking. Now we're moving, now we're talking. Yeah. He's the ultimate pro, you know, and he just gives you a perfect take on the first try. You know, and you go, well, uh, we got you for two more hours, so do it again, I guess. I think if you combine something like that with the, whoa, ho, ho, that, would, that should be not, you know. Ho, ho, now we're moving. 
Ho ho! Now we're talking! JK was definitely top of my list and uh, we were stoked when he said yes. Right, good call. Definitely. 20 leg power, better than 4. You have to give him the right lines and it'll give you the perfect rendition, the, the most, the purest rendition of that. And if it's a dramatic line, he'll have you in tears. I don't make toys. I don't make toys. Not anymore. I don't make toys, not anymore, you know. I don't want to have anything to do with this anymore. So, yeah, and also without blinking, he just like, almost in shock, like he turns away. Like, I'm not gonna do this, you know. Looking at something that brought him joy, and now he has to resist, like he forces himself to resist it, you know, because of the consequences of it. So that's, that's the way it was briefed to me. You have a thought, you have an idea, and for me it's like I, I, I'm chasing it. You know, the f I often feel I can't draw fast enough to get it, you know, it's, it's like it's running away from me. So, yeah, the sooner I get that, the better. <laughs> the guy, and he made so fast and so intensely. Right. Every time I, I, he would have the new shot in a rough, he would be in his world. It's like, it's nice. a switch. And it was, I was sitting next to him and I was like, man, I wish I had that uh, the ability to connection right. to just disengage from everything and be animating. And Klaus, I think some of his personality is in Klaus to right. that side of the intensity, I guess. When it comes back uh, from lighting, and suddenly this thing is like, it exists in that world. You could potentially touch it, you know? Yeah. And that is, that is fascinating. So every time I walk by here, there's this guy to remind us we have to do what uh, about 47 percent in the remaining i'm guessing 19 weeks now he's supposed to be kind and smiling at me and like it's gonna be okay sergio but that's not the way it's coming across i mean look at that face not at all anyways <laughs>